Hello friends, long time, no chat, no see, no anything. I know I have been a little bit radio silence over here and we'll get into that, but not today because today I am late, but I am here with my finished pages. I am keeping up on my coloring log. Uh, this is the book I started in 2022 and I'm just writing down every page I color and then I make a line after the month so the only difference I did so oh first of all hello welcome to spicy cat colors my name is Kathy I'm obviously out of practice hello to my seasoned friends I love you so much and new friends welcome I hope you stick around I did a total of 82 pages this month so I started right here and got more than I thought I would. It was a really um, kind of not the best personal month for me, but again, that's for a different day. The thing I started doing that I had not is when I color in a book for the first time, whether it's a new book or it's one that's been neglected on my shelf, I'm just doing like a little highlight because I um, realize that's something I want to track. My goal is to have zero uncolored books. And I was able to remember enough from a January and February and updated that. So still cruising along. We are up to 246 pages colored in um, 2022. So that's, I don't know, I, I'd say that's impressive for me. Um, I color a lot and it's for a stress relief. So we'll just let my numbers stay there. This is my Johanna Basford coloring planner. This is where I keep all of my um, statistics kind of for the month. So let's go through those quickly and then I'll show you. I'm also planning to complete this book this year so I have pages that are colored. I do track my uh, YouTube and Instagram follower count only just because I'm into statistics. I honestly doesn't matter to me if I had one person that watched and enjoyed me, a thousand people, that number doesn't matter to me. And I also track my posts. So I only did 20 posts in March on Instagram and sadly I only did two posts on um, YouTube. And since we're about midway through, I'm not doing very good with posts on YouTube for this month either. Hold on one moment. Okay, and then going forward, here is my summary for the month. If we look at March, you can see I did the 82 pages. I had 34 color by number pages, 48 non color by numbers. I used or I colored in 25 different books and I colored 12 PDFs. I did 18 buddy colors, which is down from normal for me, but again, life has been crazy. And I acquired 11 new books. This is kind of a fun thing to look at for me. Last month, the bucket was not very full. This month, check out the empties, my dear friends. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, just you can see there were a lot. I have, what did I write? 32 markers and pens, mostly markers. I have been uh, trying to use up a couple different sets, so I'm very sad to see my lovely set of sprees are starting to go. They were a gift from my friend Tammy and I love them. Some basic Crayolas, other water-based markers. Um, yeah, some Crayola take notes, a few Sharpies, Bix, the usual suspects. And I also used up four washi tapes, two of the little ones, which really don't take much to use up. This was a bigger one. This is what, what the pattern was. That's all that's left. And this was to show me because I had one that was like wrapped just on this plastic stuff. So this bucket is full and it makes me very happy to know I am using whew, my materials up. So that is a good thing because y'all know I have plenty. So it's time to start using up what I have. Other than that, I did add a spot on here 
for um, I have to, I haven't finished this page so this is one of those where I left it because I knew I probably wouldn't use it as far as a journal and I just put a piece of cardstock on and remembered I didn't have a list of my 10 books to touch in 2022 so I do have a video out there on that I'll link in up in the eye in the sky but I did get into girl power this month by Christopher Hart and I realized oh there's 10 and I started my first one in March maybe I can just try to do one each month and then I did make a little grid down on the bottom for tracking my uncolored books which um, I always forget to post it but it would definitely apply to color your hoard tag so in January, there were 16 books I colored in that I had not colored before. February were eight, and in March, I did six. Moving ahead, we will cover up April, but these were the books I received. Now, I am supposed to be on a no-buy, and I will admit, April is my birthday month, and I did a French Disney book order as a gift for myself, and then... These were all I had earned, except for one was a splurge. The other I had a um, gift card I had earned, and the other four were the ones I earned for coloring for coins with my husband. And again, I need to do a haul to show you all those. But then, let's get into showing you the pages and a little bit more. So I did go back. I know when I did my February pages, I didn't have this part done. What I do is I print out a snippet of my Instagram post with all of my buddy colors and I just cut and paste them using actual scissor and glue. So I did get those updated for February in here along with any tags and my bingo card. So going into March, I had already colored this page in February, so that didn't count, but I put these are from um from march so these were i did the eye panda colors palette challenge i did coloropoly so these were the pages i had done and i didn't get all of them for jesse's um march scavenger hunt but i had i think eight of the um 10 prompts so then if you'll notice on the left these are completed pages that I did this month and then I have my buddy colors on the right did this page I had one set of markers to be honest I was sitting in a hospital waiting room again that will be in a color and chat and I had my planner with me and a set of markers so you may notice the colors are the same but I got some coloring done these you are going to see these pages so this is kind of a sneak here if you're looking on the right side I did this one just with five different colors. I was doing a five marker challenge. And I have my mushroom house. This is really cute. I did a page in World of Wonder, or is it Worlds of Wonder? Or World of, yeah, Worlds of Wonder with Johanna, which isn't where this is from, but she does the mushroom houses frequently. And I did a rainbow theme. So I just kept with it because in March, my theme was rainbow. Here are my completed um, bingo pages. I did get blackout and I did do um, springo, which was kind of tic-tac-toe we did in Danielle Button's um, Patreon, sorry. And I jumped ahead because again, I was in a waiting room and I did this page, which is technically April in the planner, but I can do the pages whenever I want. <laughs> And there you see it, another page done. So those are some completed pages. And the one other statistical type thing is I have my grid where I'm keeping track of my 10 books to finish. This tealish color is what I colored or colored in the grids. You can look, I'm almost done with my goal for Jade Summer. And that was because for March, my prompts were rainbow is my standard prompt because of St. Patrick's Day. And then I spun the wheel and got Jade Summer. So I worked in quite a few Jade Summer books, but I'm actually ahead of schedule a little bit. So I did 47 pages in March. 
and originally I needed to do 32 at the beginning of the year to keep on track. So I will do a little quarterly wrap up and talk about that more. But yeah, this is a creative haven and Hannah Lynn needs some love. But otherwise, I'm on track. So those are the completed pages in my planner and my numbers. Let's dive in to pages. So this is it's my bonus of a 10 books to finish and it's a sticker by number so there's 12 pages in here so I am doing one page a month it is a calming creatures sticker by number and this month I did the dragonfly page I usually do these at the very beginning of the month just because I'm usually stressed but you can see how it comes out this is to show you kind of the um so you get the sticker sheet and on the back of it so these were all the pieces is what it's supposed to look like it doesn't come out exactly i am not 100 percent precision so i sometimes get a little bit of a gappage or line showing but still i like my um gentle thoughts is what i was going into march with so that is a completed page then I have my PDFs, which are quite a few this month. So I had been, and I did step down just because my life has gone a little crazy. If you do not follow My Dots World on Instagram, hop on over there if you like this style. Laura um, Wokel, the one that creates the books, she does a call for um, people to do the dots challenge with her every week <coughs> excuse me and she will send you pdf copies of a sample page from her book and you will color them and send her a picture and it's really fun and i know she would love to have some new creative ideas so this is from the cats book and this was the bengal for St. Patrick's Day, I did it all in greens. And then I also printed it. So she does have her books in black background and white background. And so I did this one for green. And I have always had black cats. And I think I was really tired because I did this really messy, my oranges, with which kind of gives you a Halloween vibe. Excuse me, needed a drink. But, um, yeah, I was really tired, I think. I don't know when. I did not even fill these in fully. Anyway, <laughs> we got those two done. Then I did only the one page. This is, I think, from her Landmarks book. And this is the um, St. Sophia Cathedral in the Ukraine. And what I did is I, instead of coloring the circle fully... I did some X's, I did some T's, I did some dividing symbols, but I was just playing around instead of fully, fully coloring it, just trying a little bit different method. Also, if you are interested, Sun Life Drawing has an email. You can contact them if you would like to help them preview and test out um, their new releases. They're, uh, I forget what they call us. We're not a design team. We're like a review team. But I think anyone, they don't, it's not like they have a limit, but I did sign up with that. So I have several books here that are now new releases. You can purchase on Amazon, but I have the PDF review copies in which I usually pick a few pages, print them out, test them out. Only one so far have I found an error and I think it's in here. And then I just let them know that there was a wrong or number missing, anything like that. So they have this color by numbers, lines and dots. And I did, of course, the cats. I'm always looking for the cat pages. So this is one on a white background. And then I did the tiger, which was on a black background. Another book they released. They, uh, I believe Kira Shershneva has worked with Sun Life Drawing for quite some while. And she has several of her books that are now being released as color by number. So you may have seen this as a color by colors from Kira. And if that is not your style, if you prefer the numbers, 
Well, now they have it available through Sun Life Drawing. So this is the spring book, and let me show you. So I did this page, and I was just trying different markers. I did water-based markers with a little bit of glitter. So the nice thing with the color by number versus color by color is you have a little more leeway. Like if you know it's a light blue and a dark blue, you don't have to worry about matching the outline. But I actually like it when the outline <laughs> stands out from the color, but that's a different thing. I did this bunny. Now, is it just me? The just, And this is nothing to, against the artist. This is just how my brain works. To me, this way this is drawn and the color choices to have it pink. I know it's supposed to look like, you know, the chest tummy is sometimes a lighter color. It looks like there's the heart is on the outside of the body. That's just me. My brain is quite warped. If you are a new friend, welcome to the Circus of Kathy. Then I did this page. I did use alcohol markers on these, but um, I'm not sure if it's because I print these on cardstock or if the markers were starting to die. Probably a little bit of both, but I like my little ladybugs. I added a little glitter and a little white gel pen, just little dots. And I did, I really liked this book. I did four. I don't own the physical book. And of course, because of rainbows, I wanted to do this page. I used the alcohol markers, except for the rainbow is in glitter paint pens. Then this was a new release, which I found very interesting. I apologize. The cover I printed is not from the best printer. It is um, art, well, rug hooking, that there's actually pieces of arts that have been converted into color by number. And Irina is the Sinishka. I'm sure I said that wrong. Kina, I said that wrong. Irene, Irina. Well, lovely art. So here we go. I did some pages from here. And this, I wasn't sure about these pages at first because I'm like, it just looks like a bunch of squiggles. But I actually enjoyed the um, process. I can tell you, I do not know what everything is evident. Um, I picked this one because there were cats and this lovely couple sitting there. He's playing the accordion. I'm not sure if this is, I'm guessing it's a boat because those look like motion, but it's art. So the beauty of art is it can be anything. And his bird on his head there. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so I did this page and I did the rabbit in the rowboat. And this one actually had the error I found and sent to them. And it was like, it was missing a number. On, it was in the sky, I think. So it's very easily, I, I find color by numbers with mistakes all the time. But regardless, this is the bunny. And then this one just cracked me up because I'm like, this is so going to be me and my friends. Like sitting outside the house. Of course, there's going to be a cat near me. I'm going to be the sassy one with red hair. And I'm going to wear <laughs> polka dot shirt. But I thought this was super fun. And I also love that this cat could just like care less. And there's a bird there and there's a bunch of birds up here. That will be my life. So that was another PDF. And then here, perfect example. So the Women's World, which is a very popular um, Kira book, Color by Colors. I have like the original version in Color by Colors. And it is now available as a PDF and I wanted to show you the difference. So I did a page from the color by number and that is this page is I printed out and did the color by number. And then just, I think last month in February, I did this page, the color by color style. So you can see like how I chose different blues where in um, Kira's book, it was a very dark blue, so to match the line, but here I could use whatever I want. The only thing I noticed that I prefer in the actual pre-printed book is how she does the eyes, because the eyes have actual color in the irises, and then on these, they're just blacked out. But I do like that they you don't have to mess with them too, because sometimes when you're doing a color by number, and it's a person with the eyes, they can get out really funky. So I just thought it would be interesting to see the difference with um, doing the page 
color by color style or color by number. And then I did the Ukraine, which I was just going to try and find it to show you it. I have not colored it in here yet. So this is the Ukraine girl in the actual book. And then I printed it out and you can again see that I did a bit different color choices, most likely. And maybe this one shows a little bit better how the eyes are different. But a funny thing I have to share with you because that's how I roll. <laughs> so this is how the page is supposed to turn out. This is my second attempt at this page. Because the first attempt I had, so you know, you have your color by colors chart here. And I was working in a different color by number and I had a set of markers and I had assigned them. And I think it was, was it a, it was a such diva book. So I started using the color by number assignment for the such divas, which are not an exact match. Now I realized it when I was doing the dress, because I'm like, this is weird. And then I'm like, why are the leaves purple? And then I realized my mistake. And I could have stopped, but I thought, no, this is kind of fun. And I know there's some challenges going around where um, you use a different palette or make your own palette. So this is what the Sun Life color by number page will look like if you use the colors assigned from the Sach Davis. <laughs> so my poor girl is quite yellow, but... Anyway, this is the way she's supposed to look, and this is the way my bonus one looked. I, I found that interesting and thought you seasoned friends will understand. And then I was so excited. So I did purchase this right away as a PDF. Um, Hannah Lynn has her early works released, not all of them, but she picked some and did them as a grayscale. And she is doing them as two different styles of grayscale. And there's been a lot of talk about this, and I support her. I love her work, and um, there's different ways of doing grayscale. And what she did for these pages that she chose, she took colored versions of the artwork and converted it to grayscale. And she did one as a lighter grayscale and one as a darker grayscale. And I think it's perfectly fine. I am very excited to see what she does going forward if she does like new um, artwork as grayscale. So these are the pages in here. And I printed, I could have done the same page twice, but I didn't want to. So I printed out two different pages and I did one in the lighter grayscale. So that is this page right here is the lighter one and this is how it looks like colored in marker. I think the lighter print of the grayscale would look much better in pencil. I found myself having to like add in a bunch more details but I'm not a pencil girl and um, I still love my Dorothy and Toto with my rainbow. You're gonna see a lot of rainbows this month and this was actually also a buddy color with the lovely Johanna from Jojo Zahana. We had picked any Hannah Lynn page using a rainbow theme. Could literally have a rainbow on or just use a rainbow palette. You can see Johanna's page is beautiful and amazing so thank you for doing that with me. I was further inspired by her and I wrote out part of the lyrics of Somewhere Over the Rainbow around the border. If you follow Johanna you'll know she does frequently add text and other notes to her pages and makes it a unique work of art. I added glossy accents to the eyes on Dorothy and Toto and his nose and the little heart here and my I wasn't sure what to do with the whole tornado over here so I left most of this I used a blue gray and then I took my glitter gel pen as I outlined it I don't know if you can even see I like added a little like bits of glitter in the uh tornado like it's a rainbow tornado so this was my example using the lighter version and then here's the dark version, which I think is gorgeous and amazing um, for marker work. This is the dark where she has all of her dark outlines and then just a really nice grayscale. I colored them using alcohol markers. This is printed on cardstock. Kept a very simple color palette 
and I absolutely love it. So I am very excited to dive into more of the grayscale pages. And by doing both of these, I know this is my preferred style. So those are the ones I will print out to use. Okay, so next we're going to go through my color by number books, which there aren't as many books that were color by number. Um, I just did multiple pages in them. So we'll do those first. This I never, I don't really consider it a color by number, but it's kind of a one color. So it is whatever you want. I frequently take this book to work and um, work on it in between other projects. So I did, oh yeah, this is my Disney princesses, dots, lines, and spirals. I do not believe this is available on Amazon anymore. At least I can't find it. And to be honest, I don't recommend it. I just don't give up. So I think there are better um, of this style if you want to do Disney or other characters. So this was Pocahontas. Usually I can't tell who the person is, even when it's done. This, I think, is this also Pocahontas? But this is like her, I'm standing here in the wind singing. And this one, I'm like posing for my online profile. Because I'm pretty sure that's still the fringe. But let me know if it's not Pocahontas. And then this is a Jasmine, which if it weren't for the hair, people, that's about what I use to find out who's who. So I've kind of decided just to keep working from the front back because again I do this at work it's my de-stressor so I really it it doesn't matter the order it's just to keep my mind off of the mess I'm dealing with then I did several pages in Valentine ceramic tiles I may end up finishing this book I've been working on it with my friend zombie over at zombie girls crafts and coloring and um I did these with Buddy Colors. She never sent me her completed pages, though, which is fine. It's okay. She's had a crazy, crazy month, too. So here is the first page I did. Here is the second. And this book was a gift. I have yet to even haul it on my channel, but I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to maybe finish it. And then I did this page the heart hourglass and yeah I got three pages done so I just got this book as a gift in February and we are rolling right along through it next I have pages in one of my 10 books to finish this is Disney love stories and I am just working on this from the back forward so I completed in March four pages so I did Pocahontas and John Smith and Mickey and Minnie these are where I use that skinny washi tape I get at Dollar General um, Dollar Tree has had some of the skinny stuff too I really like it I use it on my borders in here to cover up all my messes I have Ariel and I also did Anna and Kristoff. So I got four pages done in here. And now I have yet to start for April. But this is my starting point. I did a few pages in cartoon characters. Color by number. I believe this is by Jennifer Rowling. And here are the pages I did. I'm pretty sure this is Rapunzel from Tangled. <laughs> the oranges kind of threw me, oranges and reds. This one, people, you have no idea how long it took me to figure out who this was. I started it, and I was convinced this was, because I saw this, and I hadn't colored it in. I'm like, oh, that's like antenna. So in my mind, this was a wing. And I'm like, oh, it's some type of insect. And even when I was finished with it, and I tried to stick pretty close to the colors, I was clueless. Well, now I actually Google imaged searched, and I'm like, oh, it's Rue from Winnie the Pooh. So, yeah, uh, I, I was an epic fail on this one, but two pages done in here. So here are the, well, I only have, I think, one Jade Summer Color by Number book. So I decided to work in my color by number patterns. And I don't know if this was the first color by number. 
Um, uh, Jade Summer, I'm a fan of, but I'm not a fan of their color by number. And this is the only one I have, and that's why. So, I did. These, again, I'm not a quitter. So, <laughs> I, I like books that are, um, I can just put color down, not have to think, and it's the process that I need to um, turn my brain off. So that's kind of what this book is going to be. I'm just going to use water-based markers because in the end, it's, as Johanna always says, it's not going to end up in a museum. It's not a work of art. It is serving a purpose to me, and I don't want to use my alcohol markers up in a book that I probably won't even keep the book once I complete it, but I will complete it because, again, it serves a purpose. Now, this one I actually like because it's all purples and blues. This one also did not turn out too badly, color choices. And by chance, this was the first one I did, and it was a rainbow. So it made me very, very happy. But then it's like pages like this that are just not my thing. But it's because I don't like yellow. If you liked yellow, you'd probably love this page. So I did get three pages done in this book. And there's a lot in here, but it's a good go-to when I need something. Here is a book that was gifted to me. Again, I need to haul it and wahoo it. And it was actually done in February and it was in the pile to be hauled and I missed it. And because I have not had a chance to film a haul since December, that pile is pretty ginormous. But I did color in it right away to my dear friend that sent this to me. And I did this beautiful a princess page with the dragon. I think she is beautiful. And I just was playing around. I used alcohol markers. And then I decided to use crayon for the background, which I actually kind of like because it sets off the image and kind of just blends in the background. And I did my lovely favorite, some glitter nail polish. And I even did some glaze pen on her necklace to make a gem. So this is Princess Coloring Book Black Background Color Questopia, which will go towards Color Questopia Athon 2022, which is a year long hashtag if you want to share your um, Color Questopia pages with us. Next up, I did several pages in my Sun Life Drawing Color by Number Travel Mosaic Black Background. Let's see if I can get, there we go. I decided to play catch up, so I had started kind of working from the back, and now I'm at least up to here. This page is Vatican City, St. Peter's Basilica is completed. I did this one, which is the Tower Bridge from London. And these, I just use all the same alcohol or permanent markers and do a little white gel pen. Maybe, maybe um, glitter gel pen, but for the most part, not so much. Um, here we go. I did the Grand Palace from Bangkok, Thailand. And I did this one from Cambodia. And I did the um, method where I outlined it with marker. So I kind of made my own color by colors page. And then I used crayon on the inside. So... So four pages done. I worked in Mystery Mosaics book one. This is a, a 10 books to finish for me. And I did, how many did I do? Three. Did I do three in here? Okay, sorry. Let's just get to the first one. So again, I was looking for rainbows and I found this lovely rainbow sucker, which was fun. And maybe I just did the two. I think I only did the two. I did the strawberries because I needed a strawberry prompt. And these are just kind of fun. I add the washi for two reasons because they are perforated pages and I don't want them to fall out. And again, co or covers up my messiness when I don't or use the alcohol markers, I usually bleed out on the end. So this one I'm on track to finish. I worked in, again, something you have not seen yet, needs to be hauled, a um, Disney Hatchet Heroes, color by number, the uh, Cats book. 
you know, I had to get the cat's book. And I did two pages. I actually enjoyed, and I think I may do this method going forward if I'm going to work in here. Um, Season friends, you know, I always try and do two pages if I have a book out. So in these books, I figured I think I may do both pages, whichever page I pick or just randomly open and do the one on the left and the right. I right handed, so I prefer the pages on the right, but I, I need to give love to these pages too. And they're all adorable and cute. So this is from a classic silly symphonies it's like the three orphans or something i can't remember and this i thought was marie but it's no it's actually from um i forgot her name it's from princess and the frog i think tiana let me double check don't look if you don't want to see answers i have to look at the movie because i won't remember um yeah so it's from princess and the frog and i can't remember the cat's name there but i did this one all in water-based markers except for the black outlining I used a black paint pen and I used a white paint pen on the eyes and over here I used paint pen for the cat and the metal for the main image and then I used a marker on the background so those are my two pages from Disney Chats and felines. I believe that would be cats and felines. And that's the last of my color by number books. Okay, we're going to just start diving into the Jade Summer books first because this was my random prompt for the month. And I didn't get all of my Jade Summer books colored in, but I did do fairly well. I'm kind of impressed with myself. I tried. I pulled them all out and got tried to at least do a page and all, but didn't happen. This is... In, oh, sorry. This is from the book 100 Flowers, adult coloring book, Jade Summer. And I needed to do a tulip prompt. So I did this page. I like this book because of the nice um, dark black border that just finishes it off. I could do a background or I don't have to. It just goes that way. Here is another. I'm not even sure what flowers these are or the background, but I saw the background and said I can make that a rainbow. So, Jamie, this was intended to be the, um, f I didn't get anything posted for you, the make your own rainbow <laughs> prompt for your monthly breakdown prompts. Anyway, I kind of did my little flicky flowers where I don't color it in all the way, and then I added some glitter gel pen highlights. I did several pages in Intricate Mandala's coloring book, and I used the same color palette for all of them. So I did them in different orders, but you can definitely tell it's the same color palette because it's a very, it was um, iPanda Colors color palette for March, and I like it. They still look different. But I just had the same markers out and just kept going to town. This one has much less yellow. And I think I switched my yellow marker because in the color palette, it wasn't necessarily this bright of a yellow. So this one reminded me, I thought it looked like carrots were growing. I don't know, but if it's because I colored them orange, they look like carrots to me. And the third one I did towards the back. Here I brought in the brighter yellow again. And this one to me, again, I don't plan my color choices. I just kind of start from the middle and work out. So now these all look like fingers to me with green nail polish on. Anybody else see that? Yes, I will tell you exactly what I think. And I have a story for every page. I worked in Kawaii Girls. I had two in here. I've got many more Mark, but these are both body colors, if I can get to them. I thought, where are you? Oh, no, nope, that one wasn't the one. Oh, maybe these are the ones I've marked. Here we go. <laughs> Forgot which way I tabbed them. So this poor girl had some moments, <laughs> but in the end, she came out okay. This is what happens when you have a skin tone marker. Don't start with the face. <laughs> Or maybe start with the face. I don't know. My marker died mid-face. So I had her face and neck colored and two fingers. 
And then I had to try and find a match. And I didn't 100% find a match, but it worked out. And I didn't want to go, I could have gotten a darker skin tone, but I had already done the background so dark. So she is what she is. She is completed. That is the main thing. And she was a buddy color. So that makes me happy. My friend Deb Eilbick, her page is here on the left and it is beautiful and amazing. And I had a lot of fun, um, kind of with the darker. And then I added in gel pen, um, moonlights, all, all the fun things. Then we did this fun page. This is so cute. Needed to do a Christmas page. This obviously has Christmas trees and it is from the Kawaii Christmas book. And my cute little skating girl with her cats. Again, this was the book of marker mishaps. I was coloring my ice and I started down in the corners and that marker died. So I'm not sure if this little kitty had a potty room, a pee pee room accident and is sliding towards it, away from it. I'm not really sure. This one kind of flies as a shadow. This just looks ridiculous. But other than that, I love my page. I totally went to town with the Jelly Roll um, Moonlights. And I think she is super cute. I actually have a um, winter crocheted hat that looks like a cat. And my buddy, Judith, her page is also adorable. She used glitter gel pen all over the place. And I love it. And traditional Christmas colors. Very fun page to do. And I have more buddy colors set up in this book with Judith. Next set of Jade Summers. I'm just kind of bringing multiple books out at once because this is a long video. So in Cute and Lovely... I did this page. I need to do a page of, whoa, the books are toppling in the basket. Hold on. Okay. Crisis averted. So I did, um, yeah, I was looking for a presence to do a prompt and I found this one and I love it. And I just added my date and name up on the top. So cute and lovely. Then I had to work in cute and spooky. I didn't have to, but I wanted to, and I needed a succulent prompt, and I thought this was a cute page. I uh, just alcohol marker and white gel pen, no glitter. Of course, I picked red, so in my mind, I wasn't thinking blood. I made my candle red, and I'm like, oh, the wax all over melted and flowed, but now I realized it looks like blood. You know, it's not a Kathy page without a story, so <laughs> there we go. And to keep in season order, I did a page in Cute Christmas. I did the cookie page again, needed a cookie prompt. And I kept it very basic colors and I used some glaze pens, not the jelly roll. I have a generic set that I got on Amazon and made all my little like M&M style candies <laughs> to look that wet and my chocolate chips and some glitter and lastly from jade summer books i worked in chibi girls two in one i did two pages this is the first page i did the cave explorer girl. This was a buddy color with zombie girl. Again, she um, wasn't able to get me her pages, so I can't show you hers, but this was kind of fun. This was one of those pages I wasn't that excited because I had no idea what to do with it. And I ended up, you know, doing some browns, I guess, realistically, maybe those would be more grays. I don't know. It depends where the cave is, what the soil looks like. And then I tried to give like the pops of color to the snake because that's usually a warning of danger and yeah she did turn out really cute I think and I did this page on my own I did the magician girl because I needed to do a prompt of magic and her and her bunnies all have lots of glossy accents on their eyes and I used glaze on her what is it a baton that they use but yeah I like it. 
I like it. And yep, that's it. I have two more buddy colors with Zombie Girl set up in this book. So those were all the Jade Summer pages that I did in March. And now we'll just go through the rest of the color by numbers. So here is the 10 books to finish, my mini Pusheen. And since my theme was rainbows, I did a lot. There were a lot of rainbow pages in here. And I'm just going to try and zoom in. Whoa, too far zoomed in. Okay, this will work. Because this is itty bitty. So this I I've always forget to post these on Instagram, but they definitely apply for um, Nikki Niagara's Nikki Does Tiny this year. So these are all, I'm pretty sure, rainbow themed. And I have found, even though these are single sided and you can use alcohol markers, I think water-based markers just work the best on this paper. So we have these cute little kitty unicorns with their gems and rainbows. This one didn't scream rainbow, but I thought I'm going to make it rainbow balloons. This cat, I forget the name of it, but it just always looks like a piece of shrimp to me. Maybe because I'm hungry for shrimp. I don't know. This cutie, I was using again certain sets of markers, not happiest with my choices there for the cats, but it's a page that's done. Wanted to do the spring page since we did have the official first day of spring and I needed to do rainy day gear for a prompt. Here was something kind of fun. I did it a little bit different. Um, I did traditional gray for Pusheen. And these balloons, I have this set of markers that I got from the Dollar Tree that's actually little flower stamps. And I, you probably can't see, maybe you can see that it's an actual like five petals. And I just randomly, I stamped them to give it more of a textured type look. And now I colored this cat like a shrimp. Um, so that was kind of fun. And I like the way it looks a little different. And I think this was the first one I did for the month out of this book and it is my airplane Pusheen with a partial rainbow. So definitely making progress. This has, I forget, 46 pages so I need to do multiples if I intend to finish it this year. And here is a book I bought for myself just because I was having a bad day. Whoa, that's too far away. You can see all the mess. <laughs> Okay, sorry. It's like, which version do we give you? So this is from April Amber. It is cute and easy kawaii coloring book number one. There are duplicate pages in here if you are curious. And there are 30 pages um, of unique images and then duplicated. So I looked for rainbows. And I found this one. These images are very cute. I like that they have a border. Did all of these just as alcohol marker with some gel pen accent. Cute little unicorn. I had to give like sparkly hooves. And look at this adorable bunny. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I needed to color a carrot. So I really love this bunny page. I think it's so flippin' cute. Adorable, adorable. And we're gonna keep moving. Now I'm worried my basket's gonna tip over because it's almost empty. I finally did get into some Creative Haven coloring. This is one of my, it was my 10 books to finish last year and I did not finish it. So I do want to finish it, but, um. Yeah, I need to, oh, did I forget to mark my pages? Way to go, Kathy. I'll find them for you. They're not too hard. So this, I had only a certain set of markers, and I don't love it, but it's a completed page. It wasn't one of my favorite pages. My book is starting to fall apart, so we need to get this done. Um, keep calm and shop. I think I just decided to start going from the back forward to finish this off. So then I skipped one again. There's no rhyme or reason. I know I did two pages. Oh, this is the other one I did. 
keep calm and go camping because I was thinking of my friends um, down in Australia. I heard some of them mention that this is time of year they actually like go camping. So it's not camping weather in Minnesota, but it is in <coughs> Australia. So two pages done out of there. Here is the book where I did my um, 10 books to touch. So I have had this book for, I think I even wrote down when I got it. Yes, September 2020, I purchased it, had not colored in it. So thankfully, my friend um, Missy over at Missy's Coloring Craze offered to buddy color with me in it. So this is the page we did. Let me show you her page and you can see they look entirely different because I tried something different. So um, Missy, again, she's Steph Louise Ar Argyle on Instagram and um, she occasionally posts videos. So I did my page because I had an eerie prompt and I don't have any eerie books. So I was inspired by doing her um, the tracing series from Erie, and I thought, how would that look just in a regular coloring book? Well, this is what it looks like, and I actually think it's pretty cool. Different, something totally different, but I, I like it, and I like my girls, I like how the cats look on the background, very adorable. And since I had the book out, I did one more page and went to the rainbow. And I saw this page and I knew immediately I wanted to do rainbow colored raindrops. And I thought purple's my favorite color. So I had, again, I used water based markers. I find they work the best on this paper. And I pulled out the varying shades of purple I had and came up with my girl. So there you go. Nice. I like her. I like all, well, almost all my pages. I did not do as much as usual in my camellia. I do have a goal to do 50 camellia Angel Cova miniature pages this year. And I, again, new book, bought this, worked in 50 Easter miniatures, and did this cute page. Okay, this is a page that has a story behind it too. It's not my cutest page I've ever done, but it's done. Oh, and I smell the nail polish yet. So this I did as a buddy color with Michelle. She is Broken Girl Doll on Instagram. And I was so excited to buddy color with her again. And then I had, I don't know, tragic marker choices. So I decided I wanted to, I don't know if I even wanted to do the rainbow theme. I was just trying to do a different, some markers I don't use a lot. And I had this red orangey, yellow, and green. And then I'm like, oh, they look really bad. So what do you do? You just go with it. So I for sure did the rainbow for the flowers and I decided I wanted a purple mushroom. And then I thought, well, maybe if I use some jelly roll <laughs> moonlight as like highlights, that'll make it look better. Okay, let's throw some glitter gel pen on. That could only help. And finally, let's put nail polish over, confetti nail polish over the eggs. <sighs> it's, it's unique, I will say that. Michelle, your page was gorgeous. Thank you for playing with me. Um, yeah, you try things, they work, sometimes they don't. This is another page, this is the first page I colored in here, which is also a buddy color with Ashley's color coloring and crafting. And again, beginning of the month, I was full-blown rainbow mode, so I chose to make my eggs all a neutral color, and then used glitter to decorate the eggs, and my Ohuhu pastels for my bird. You could see Ashley's page. And I think I did one more in here. I did one more buddy color. This page is so cheery and spring-like. This is a buddy color with Michelle's box of hues, and I just kept my daffodils as daffodils and had, yeah, pretty straight and simple there. Chose some colors, did a little outlining, little washi tape just to tie in the Easter egg, and a very fun, nice book. I did another buddy color in um, 50 Christmas miniatures. 
this one. Where's my tabby? There it is. I did. We did have snow in March, and there is a prediction for possible flurries yet this week. I'm filming on, was it April 11th, I think? I'm way late. Um, so I did this page, move it over as a buddy color with Shelby's coloring and crafting, and I had a blast with this one. Went with the blues and purples. I used some enamel accents on the button metallic markers on the snowflakes and lots of glaze on the eyes I'm trying to use up my one um glossy accents because it's kind of thick it's got some discoloration i could throw it away but it still serves its purpose so that was out of 50 christmas miniatures friends we're almost to the end i have two more books so next up is my project book. I am coloring this book. As a, whoa, did you guys all just hear that? Okay, pause. Okay, reset. Um, so this is a 10 books to finish. I am working on this book with my friend Tammy, Tammy Colors 2. We are coloring the whole book this year, and we started working from back to front. And... So I will show them to you back to front. We alternate um, picking a theme for each of the pages. So we have five pages picked. And this, the month of March, was Tammy's choice to pick the themes. So this is our first page. And you will see, obviously, my page on the right. And I will show Tammy's page on the left. This one, she gave us a color palette. And I just realized, obviously, my blotter page moved. And I got a little bonus pop of blues here, but this was a color palette for this mandala. We did this page, and the prompt was to do blue with a pop of purple. So I tried to stick mostly to blues and just a little bit of purple, and then I did use a little nail polish, glitter nail polish, over those pieces. Um... I think it's just so fun that using the same prompt how and doing the same page, we really do come out with different pages. So this one, if you can't tell by the back page, check this out. I loved this prompt. She said to do neons, fluorescent, um, and sparkly. So I you can't even see the sparkle because I went so far over on the neons and fluorescents. I picked out the fluorescent markers from my Ohuhu 120 set, which I've done pages with them before, and they are so fun so 80s to me and I did come back in I found matching glitter gel pen but I don't think you can even really pick up on it again it is like intense the fluorescent and all of these are glitter gel pen these little tentacles tendrils whatever they are Tammy's page you can see is lovely then this one is always fun when she lets me do a random. So I just grabbed in and I grabbed, we grabbed six to eight markers, pens, whatever you want. These were my colors. You can see Tammy's page and probably my least favorite of the month, but you know, I added nail polish. I glittered it up. It's okay. It's just darker. I don't have, I didn't draw any really good, um, I don't know, the, the pink is kind of a bright, but anyway. It's not colors I would have picked on my own, so I actually don't mind it. And then the last page was probably my favorite because in March was Tammy's 50th birthday, and she said to turn this one into a birthday cake for Tammy. So you can see her beautiful page. I know blues are her favorite color, and I try to do one of these every month as a theme for the month. So that is why this one is called March chapter three. So I use the colors from the birthstone, which is aquamarine. And then I add in a little bit of extra text. Daffodil is the flower, the birth flower. Um, Pisces and Aries are the signs. You have St. Patrick's Day in March. And do you see it? Do you see that I put stickers that say Tammy 50? 
Because anybody else remember? Did they even sell those anymore? When I was a kid, it was like the best thing ever. If my mom would buy like those pre-made, they were like on cardboard, almost like the candy dots that come on cardboard. And it would like have the alphabet or it would say happy birthday. And they really tasted like crap and they probably could break your teeth. But that's what this made me think of. And I'm like, Tammy, we're of the same age and generation. You probably had some of those candies on your birthday cake. And I also added, I had some little stickers. These little dots are all stickers from um, Dollar Tree. And little pops of gold on the hearts. So we are cruising along and I have already sent her, I have not started though, my pages for the month of April. And the last page I have to show for you is another buddy color. It is from one of my favorite um, artist books. I did finish Yippie Kauai Volume 1 in 2021, and this I am not trying to finish. I am just coloring in it. And I did a page with my beautiful friend Amanda Downey as a buddy color, and she knew I wanted to do a rainbow page, so here is my page. And this was the only one in here that actually had rainbows. And you can see her page. I love hers because it just looks so elegant. And, you know, I can't do anything simple. So we went rainbow around the world. And there's actually a process. Where's one? You can maybe see it. So I have my um, six colors on the inside. And then I have varying shades of that same color as it goes out. So like here they're they're in glitter. They're like brand, brand new baby um Unicorns are all sparkly and glitter, and then they kind of grow up into toddler. So they're still sparkly. They're sparkly on their, uh, you are getting a story, FYI. Uh, their mane and tail, and they get a little bit their color. They go into toddlerhood. They haven't changed a lot yet. You know, that, that age in between, um, like toddler going into like starting school, kindergarten. So the tone is the same still super sparkly. The world is all ahead of you. And then we move into teenage graduating, <laughs> graduating high school, um, kind of want to change things up a little bit and maybe not conform. So I'm going to dye my hair all the same one color. <laughs> and, you know, I've gotten a little darker. Um, is anybody else following me here? I'm like, you know, showing the life evolution of the unicorn and comparing it to a human. So then, you know, we do our college days and we move into, hi, I'm an adult. I'm working. I'm starting my family and I'm attacking the world. I'm a little bit, you know, not quite as wild and crazy as my younger days, but I'm still doing my own thing. You know, I got highlights now. It could be gray hair, but I got highlights. Um, it's gold hair when you're a unicorn, but, and then we reach the age where we are just flipping tired. So this is my retired unicorn who's like, I have done all of this and now I need a nap. So that was what I was thinking as I colored each and every one of these and found the different shades to tell their little story as you moved around. <laughs> and yes, I put way too much into this is supposed to just be a fun hobby, but to me, the story is half the fun. I tried. This was the first time I did on this book where I colored the clouds with like the palest blue gray. And then I outlined them with a white gel pen. Um, to get rid of the black line. I don't mind it, it's kind of fun. So that is my last page of the month. This was a long one. Thank you for coming along. I know, I know, I haven't talked to you guys. I, I can't even tell you when I'll get my other videos up, but I'm still here, I'm still coloring. Uh, you can certainly message me on Instagram. I am not on social media a lot right now, so it might take me a little bit to respond to you. But um, I promise I will be eventually telling you all the things and showing you, seriously, the haul pile is insane. So, yeah, I hope things are going well for each of you. Thank you for coming around today. I greatly appreciate it. 
I hope um, your day, your life is going grand, regardless of which, you know, stage of unicorn life you may be in. Which one do you relate to? I think I am perpetually, I used to always say, I think this is like my spirit age, kind of this, I'd say 25 year old. <laughs> That's what I mentally think I am. Physically, this is me. Oh yeah, this one's me. I'm already there. But <laughs> anybody you want to like comment if you can relate, <laughs> if you follow my story and where you feel you are at <laughs> and where you permanently feel like your life is. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambly. I, again, have a lot going on. Mentally not in the best space, but I am doing what I can. And do you know one of the things I do, which I tell all of you to do when you need to, is I tell myself that I matter. I actually look in the mirror and I tell myself, Kathy, you matter. You've got this. Keep going on. You can't give up. Because to be honest, there have been moments I've been ready to just give up. So if you are having that phase in your life and that's kind of one of the things when we have these tough times it's just a phase it will get better it's not forever it feels like it it might be you know in the realm of things it's a blip not even a sentence or a paragraph in the book of our life but it feels all-consuming so don't let yourself get stuck in your head when those moments happen um, try and find the good there is always, always good in every situation. I truly believe that. It, it is very difficult to find sometimes, but it is there in every tragedy. And and don't, don't come at me for saying that because a tragedy is a tragedy. I'm not saying that there's anything um, in that situation, but there is still good happening in the world and even in those situations. So focus on that. Focus on yourself. Take a deep breath. And let's just keep moving on to the next phase. Okay, my friends, don't ever forget how much you matter. You truly do make a difference in this world because you make a difference in my life. I love you guys. Bye.